everyone. We are trying something new today. We are actually at a formal outdoor space, not just one of Boston's lovely parks, but we decided to check out the Time Out Boston Trillium Beer Garden and Time Out Market. And it's really easy. You just come, sit down, order your beer, order your food, and you go inside to the Time Out Market right behind us and just we're in for a nice afternoon of Adirondack chairs, IPAs. We're gonna go on inside of the food court, see what options we have available, and we'll meet you right back here. See you in a bit. Hey everybody, welcome back. <laughs> Today I am here at the Time Out Market at the uh, Trillium Brewery Beer Garden. And I ordered from Taqueria El Barrio and I've got the Berea Beef Plate. Now Berea, if you don't know, is a uh, traditional Mexican beef stew uh, from the state of Jalisco. Usually made with goat meat, but today it's been made with beef. Uh, and it's also traditionally served with a side of the broth for you to dip in while you're eating. So, let's give this a try. Mmm. You can tell the meat has been cooked really slowly. It's come out very tender and it just shreds into these little fine pieces. But it's not dry. But in addition to that, you get this beautiful broth you can take the uh, beef, just dip it right in. Mmm. And that just amped up the flavor 100%. This taco is meant to be dipped in the broth, without a doubt. The broth it has a lot of beefy flavor, but it also brings a little bit of spice, as well as maybe a touch of tomato, I think, they must have added to that. And that adds some more of that umami flavor that helps to enhance the taco uh, as a dip when you put it in. You know, all of these items add something different to the taco. You get obviously the protein where most of the flavor is, the brightness from and the acid from the tomatoes, and the uh, little bit of raw onion, smooth creaminess from the avocado. That all rounds out the flavors really well. So I decided to go to Anashella, which is an Armenian, Lebanese, Mediterranean place. I got the Metze sampler and I'm really excited, most importantly, because I'm seeing some halloumi here. It's a, like a fried cheese, which I'm gonna definitely have to try first because I am so hungry. So it's a, it's a pretty authentic halloumi in terms of the taste. Definitely has that nice fry grilled taste to it. I'm gonna just try some of the simple hummus on its own. Mmm. Nice bright lemoniness to that. Real fresh, zesty. This hummus is just so bright and vibrant. Almost feel like I've been transported to a veranda and maybe the Mediterranean. Having a little bit of the walnut harissa. So harissa is a northern African, slightly spicy, really, I recommend, you know, cooking with it, like in chicken and pork and all that good stuff. It's real, really nutty. There's tons of walnuts, spicy, a little oily. These are really vibrant flavors here. So if you like walnuts and a little bit of spice, this, this is something that you'll enjoy. Let's try a little bit of the falafel. They put a tahini on it. And you might wonder what exactly is the green in here? And it's probably a good amount of parsley that's ground up into it. This is just very cakey. The, the flavor is, is decent, but you definitely are gonna want to, you know, have some hummus with this. I'm gonna try the labna next. Mmm. That is really nice. So it has a little bit of a sour cream taste, a little bit of fresh mint, parsley, really fresh with these little chopped up vegetables in it. Like there's a little bit of vinaigrette on it. This is delish. Lastly, another really traditional 
Mediterranean metze plate usually will come with baba ganoush. It's strained, it's creamy. Mm. And also the baba ganoush has that really smokiness to it. Really just a nice snack to share with a couple of friends. Maybe enjoy a nice beer at the Trillium Garden where we are seated right now. And enjoy really anything that can happen with city living in Boston. Hi, so I got fish and chips from Custer's Seafood and Roast Beef. Actually, my dad and sister got the fish and chips from here last year and it was really good. I was stealing their food because I enjoyed it more than what I ordered. And um, I have to say, the fish and chips, what makes the meal is the fact that it's breaded so well. It makes a really nice crispy sound. It's definitely one of the best fish and chips that I've had even um, when I was traveling in the UK. Spices, as you can see in here. There's a little bit of a well of olive oil and looks like we have Baxter Park, that's where we're at.